Pastor Brad asked me to share a little message with all of you today from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 9. When I read 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 9, it reminded me of all of you. Now, about brotherly love, we do not need to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. Honestly, I feel like Paul. I don't need to sp speak to you about brotherly love because you as a church are living it. I am here ministering at Rich Valley Community Church because of your brotherly and sisterly love. And when I think about brotherly and sisterly love that you show, I'm not just talking about the financial support, the donations that came in for the building funds so we could live in this beautiful house. And I'm not just talking about the support you give us so that we can stay here, uh, that monthly support, which is absolutely essential to our ministry here. What I am really most appreciative of and what I see is your greatest gift of brotherly love is how you have built into my life over the years. Many of you know me in de many different capacities. Some of you remember, you know, when I was a little child, you know, even in, even as a baby, when my grandparents would bring me to church. Some of you know me when Jerry and Sugar would bring me as a church as an adolescent and as a teen. And some of you only know me as someone who shows up once a year or twice a year as a missionary just to talk about the ministry we do here. But regardless of how you know me, each of you have ministered into my life. You know, there has been many times in my life when people at Rich Valley Community Church have loved me and even loved me at times when I was so unlovable, especially from a worldly point of view. Your support, your encouragement, your rebukes, your love, everything has meant everything to me and has made me who I am today. And like I said, I'm not just talking about the people who have known me for 40 years. I'm also talking about those of you who have only met me just a few times. Just even coming to church and seeing your smiling faces and engaging me about my ministry is such an encouragement. You as a church really emulate brotherly and sisterly love and have made me who I am today because of it. So all of you really do follow Paul's words to the Thessalonians and there's nothing I need to teach you instead like Paul I just want to encourage you to keep doing it more and more and most importantly for myself really I just want to thank you thank you for the brotherly and sisterly love that you have consistently shown me through the years